I couldn't see. Seeing the world through my eyes is a little like trying to find light when your eyes are closed. It's like staring at a hazy world through an out of focus camera. An identifiable eye disorder, as my ophthalmologist called it. I couldn't stay in school with the stress it placed on my eyes, so I changed everything identifiable from my school and my stress to the environment and country I was living in. The next chapter of my life began in Slovakia, which was quite different from South Korea. Walking past the old shops on a worn cobblestone street in Bratislava, I could feel the weight of foreignness and loneliness digging into my back. Each step forward reminded me of old friends, of assignments both fun and not fun, and of the fact that I was living a life without a clear vision. I walked without direction. Bakeries, churches, street musicians, all new to me, passed me by. I began making art, painting the Bratislava skyline, while a man played drums and a guitar on a motorbike. I started waving hello to the statue of Chumil every morning, his blank stare greeting me in return. I visited museums and explored all I could, but even with all of these attempts to make my new world identifiable, my vision still hadn't returned to me. But suddenly, a two-leaf clover appeared. I nearly stepped on it. It had a tiny, weak stem, barely growing through a small crack in the cement. It was desperately hanging on to life. But despite it just starting a life by itself, alone, it was due to Slovakian winds of loneliness. Suddenly, I realized I was too. I wanted to shout out to the world of the story of this two-leaf clover, of myself and my life, but only through a medium I could work on even with my eye disorder, which was animation. I didn't know why or how, but I began drawing storyboard upon storyboard and drew inspiration from my unidentifiable experiences. The clouds floating nimbly through the unreachable sky, the sound of winter, spring, and summer in Bratislava, and a tiny, tulip clover growing out of the cement. I created a whole new world by producing my personal film, A Broken Star. The clouds became the background, and the sounds of Bratislava streets, of its nature, instruments, and people talking became the soundtrack. A statuated clock in the streets of the old town became a symbol for the flow of life and time. The story of this broken star reaching out to a heartbroken child to tell him to love himself again and as a result, regaining its ability to shine became a reflection of myself and of my journey to get my vision back. I could see, clearly and vividly, Working on this film, transforming my lonely hours into the land of dreams and fantasy, turned out to be the medicine I needed. I could see the world through the power of animation, literally and figuratively. Now, I can see others' personal stories and transform them into universal ones. I can help those who are trapped in unidentifiable places, who are looking for companionship and a greater theme of life through details and through animation. The world is made of the lines on a clover sleeves, of the twitching of a clock hand ticking closer and closer to a deadline, of a statue everyone else seems to pass by, but with whom I now have a secret handshake. It is the details in life that inspire me most and urge me forwards in my creative pursuits. The detail of the small things, a two-leaf clover, became the start of something big. My passion, my life, my vision, and my films. 
With this, now, I can see.